to soak or not soak your lifters before you install them. Let's get into it. All right, so to formulate an opinion on this question, we have to understand the anatomy of a hydraulic lifter. I'm gonna take this apart for you. I'll remove the retaining ring. Here's your cap. You get your diaphragm. You got your cylinder, your piston, spring, and then your main body. So in a hydraulic roller lifter or a hydraulic solid lifter, um, or flat tappet I should say, what you're gonna have is an oil hole that allows oil pressure to enter from the oil galley. And it's gonna pump up inside the cylinder which puts pressure against your piston, which in turn puts pressure against your push rod and automatically makes up through this up and down movement for changes in your valve train geometry and valve lash. Uh, with solid lifters, you have kind of a piston on the inside, but it doesn't move. It's held in by the retaining clip, the cap, there's also a diaphragm in there to control the oil flow. But once this is in there and the cap is put on, it doesn't move. All it's meant to do is just meter the amount of oil going through the push rod. That's it. It doesn't move. It doesn't adjust. It's solid. So in the old days, as you would operate and run your vehicle, uh, your valve lash would, would wear in um, and you would get more valve lash. It's more of a, a gap between the tip of the rocker arm and the top of the valve stem. You would have to adjust that periodically to keep it within specification. Um, and you could usually tell, especially if you had a, a good exhaust on your car, um, you could hear the ticking getting louder and more pronounced. So you knew it was time for a valve adjustment. But with the invent of a hydraulic lifter, it took the need to take your valve covers off and do a valve adjustment out of the equation. So when it comes to soaking your lifters, there's two schools of thought. One, you shouldn't do it. And the biggest argument I've seen for, well, I guess let's say the two biggest arguments I've seen for not doing it is one, is it's just old school and completely unnecessary. You don't need to do it. The second argument would be that if you have oil inside this piston, that when you fire the engine up, it's gonna to have too much pressure and it's gonna bend a push rod or cause some other type of catastrophic failure. There are some manufacturers that say don't soak them. Maybe they could give me a valid reason why you wouldn't wanna do that, but the other common way of thinking when it comes to soaking them is one, you're gonna have oil inside that cylinder in here, which is great. Because especially if you're storing these, or if it's gonna be a little while before you can get this engine fired up, it's good to have oil on the inside of your lifter. It's gonna help prevent against rusting and corrosion and stuff for moisture, temperature changes in the shop, things like that. But also anytime you do decide to put it in and move it, it's gonna have a lubricant so you don't have your piston here just going in inside that cylinder dry why would you want those parts to rub dry it makes zero sense to me now to combat the idea that if it is full of oil and you go to start it up that it's going to have too much oil pressure upon its initial rotating sequence that it's going to bend a valve stem or not a valve stem excuse me bend a push rod or you know break the lifter in some way shape or fashion my argument to that is is well when you put these in you're gonna go through a sequence of turning your engine over anyway. So when you're doing that by hand, 
you're not providing any oil pressure to the lifter itself. There's no oil pressure built up in the engine. So by rotating it by hand slowly, all you're going to do is allow what excess oil will be there at the time to push up into the push rod and to also push back out into the galley. It's going to relieve itself. It's not going to be a problem. There's not a ton of oil in there anyway. I say it's cheap insurance. There's no reason not to soak them. Especially if when you get it in there, you're going to be turning it over anyway. Your parts aren't going to be dry when you're rotating everything for the first time. It's going to bleed off that pressure. I don't see a downside. So that's my take on it when it comes to your, your lifters. I say soak them. I don't believe all the other BS that you hear about damaging lifters when you soak them in oil or that it's completely unnecessary. Sure, you can get by with it, I think, but if you're taking the time to invest in your engine, why not? You have so many other things to do at the time. Let these things soak in some oil. It's not going to do anything to hurt you. So that's my take on it. I say soak them, but you can formulate your own opinion. I appreciate you watching. Thanks for stopping in. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.